Well, I'm gonna go do the dishes. Cool. It'd be nice if you help me. No problem. Uh, we'll get them a little bit later. I'm just gonna hit the streets here for a little bit. Gary, come on. I don't want to do them later. Let's just do them now. Take 15 minutes. Oh, honey, I am so exhausted. I just honestly want to relax for a little bit. If I could just sit here, let my food digest, and just try to enjoy the quiet for a little bit. Get some. Get some. Get some. That's what happens. And we will... Oh, we can clean the dishes tomorrow. Here, you know, I don't like waking up to a dirty kitchen. Who cares? I care, all right? I care. I busted my ass all day cleaning this house and then cooking that meal, and I worked today. It would be nice if you said thank you and helped me with the dishes. Fine. I'll help you do the damn dishes. Oh, come on. You know what? No. That's, see, that's not what I want. You just said that you want me to help you do the dishes. I want you to want to do the dishes. Why would I want to do dishes? Why? See, that's my whole point. Let me see if I'm following this, okay? Are you telling me that you're upset because I don't have a strong desire to clean dishes? No, I'm upset because you don't have a strong desire to offer to do the dishes. I just did. After I asked you. Jesus, Brooke, you're acting crazy again. Don't you call me crazy. I am not crazy. I didn't call you crazy. You I didn't did. call you crazy. No, I didn't. I said you're acting crazy. You know what, Gary? I Brooke, you're acting crazy again. Don't you call me crazy. I am not crazy. I didn't call you crazy. Just I didn't did. call you crazy. No, I didn't. I said you're acting crazy. You know what, Gary? I asked you to do one thing. To I wish everyone that was at that goddamn table had their own little private bag of lemons. Gary, I'm it's not that. about the lemons. Well, that's all you're talking about. I'm just saying it's, it'd be nice if you did things that I asked. It would be even nicer if you did things without me having to ask you. Well, I do seem to remember doing something for you this morning without you asking. Gary, come on. <laughs> I'm you know, serious. No, I'm, I'm serious. Hey, I really am. Come on, you knew I was working today and I made that meal and you could have thought to yourself, you know, you could have said, you know, I, I'm not, I think I'm going to get Brooke some flowers. You said on our very first date that you don't like flowers, that they're a waste of money. Every girl likes flowers, Gary. You say that you don't like flowers. I'm supposed to take that to mean that you do like flowers? No, this is not about... You're not... You're not... You're, 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 you're not getting it. You're not getting this, Gary. Okay, it's not about the lemons. It's not about the flowers. It's not about the dishes. It's just about... Um, how many times do I have to drop hints about the ballet? You know I can't stay. Brooke, come here. We talked about the damn ballet. I hate the goddamn ballet. You got a bunch of dudes in... A bunch of dudes in tights flopping around for three hours. It's like a medieval techno show. It's a nightmare. I sit there in a sweat. The whole thing. I do. I wonder when the hell's the goddamn nightmare gonna end? Go to a damn ballet. It's not about you loving the ballet, Gary. It's about the person that you love loves the ballet, and you want to spend time with that person. Not when they're at the ballet. Okay, forget the ballet. I'm... Forget the ballet. We don't go anywhere together. We just went to Ann Arbor together. To Ann Arbor. To the Michigan Notre Dame game. You think? You think? Screaming drunk kids and leprechauns doing backflips. That's fun. That's fun for me. Come on, man. I did that for you. What do you? How do you show up for me? I'm up on the bus every goddamn day Come for you. Come on. You I busted my ass to be the best tour guide in the damn city so I can make enough money to support both of us and hopefully you won't have to work one day. I want to work. All I ask, Brooke, is that you show a little bit of appreciation that I just get 20 minutes to relax when I come home instead of being attacked with questions and nag the whole damn thing. You think that I nag you? You? That's all you do! All you do is nag me! The bathroom's a mess! Your belt doesn't match! Hey Gary, you should probably go work out! Nothing I ever do is ever good enough! I just want to be left the hell alone! Really? Is that what you want, Gary? Is that what you want? Yeah. That's what you want? Yeah. Fine. Great. Do whatever the hell you want. You leave your socks all over this house, dress like a pig, play your stupid ass video game. I don't care. I'm done. What? I am done. I don't deserve this. I really do not deserve this. I deserve somebody who gives a shit. I'm not spending one more second of this life with some inconsiderate prick. You're a prick. What's going on social media chilling? First things first, right? I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I need to learn how to edit videos. And let me just give you my response to that, right? I get up at one in the morning to try to make some side money. You know what I mean? Not only that, but I had to be here by about five or six o'clock to drive this truck. And I drive this truck 12 hours a day. And I get off from this job and I do a little bit more side hustling. You know, I'm trying to work more and sleep less, right? 
and I'm the my, my only break really through the day is probably like either I catch a nap somewhere or I play PS5. That's kind of like what I do to alleviate myself, my stress, I mean. In between that, I do the gym. So, you know, when I start getting more time back, I love to put more in the video editing. But for now, y'all gonna get these kind of halfway choppy ghetto ass videos. But anyway, right? I'm here to explore more shit in duality, right? Because I like looking at things from both sides of the coin. I like seeing the whole perspective. You know, I guess a better way to say it is I used to be one of those kind of guys. I was the only male dom like male oriented podcaster, so to speak. I was more male dominated. But I like seeing things from both angles. Because I mean when you get the whole picture, you get the whole story and you get the whole point. So you learn a lot more that way. That's just personally my take on it. I don't like to only talk about man shit. You know what I mean? I like to give a story from both sides. But, but enough on that, right? This video here that I, I came across this shit yesterday, right? And I've seen this movie before. I just don't remember where I saw it. I don't know if my mom put it on or what. But I remember watching the breakup with um Jennifer Aniston and Vince Vaughn. And, you know... <laughs> As I was watching the video, I, I was reading the comments on the on YouTube and on fucking, um, where the fuck was this shit? Snapchat? Might have been Snapchat. I don't fucking remember. I saw it on, I saw the video on Facebook, then I read and rewatched it on fucking YouTube. And all the comments mostly were just like, no, I shouldn't have to deal with this immaturity. I shouldn't have to deal with a man that acts like this. And the first thing I want to say about this, right off the bat, is that you motherfuckers that comment under shit like this y'all don't know what real stress is all right i don't think him like okay vince vaughn's character which i can't remember his fucking name and i don't remember either name right i don't think he was that bad of a dude i think he was just being a dude right from what i saw the video i think he was doing typical guy shit right do i think he's right or wrong i think both sides have their wrongs and their rights all right but at the end of this whole thing, I'll tell you who a clear-cut winner is because, I mean, again, I like picking sides to some degree. I like to stand on the left or the right. But I do like exploring both sides. But you get my point. Now, let's just get started here. Right off the bat, she's asking him to do the dishes. Which I don't think is a crazy ask. <laughs> Look, there's a lot about Jennifer, Aniston char Jennifer Aniston's character that I you know, seen from this clip that made a lot of sense, actually. Like, I don't think she was really asking nothing that wild. Like, hey, I just want to wash the dishes. But I ain't gonna lie to you. I kind of clicked with Vince Vaughn's character a touch more, right? Because, listen, as a dude, you, sometimes you just want shit to stop. You don't want to hear it. Bro, let me just play X Xbox for like a little bit. I promise you I'm gonna get to the dishes, right? This is the typical scene what happens with most people in most, like, homes or whatever. Like, you know, this is your typical relationship. Guy kind of wants to, like, not think about the dishes or just chill and play the game. Girl is stressed out about things happening in the house. This is most people. Not only that, <laughs> but them dishes can wait. Like, listen, in the way I click with Vince Bond's character a touch more, <laughs> like, them dishes ain't going nowhere. The shit is not a house fire. And I think that's the thing that sometimes makes it hard for a dude to give a fuck sometimes about what women are saying. Because you got to understand, the shit, okay, a clean house is not a house fire, right? I remember me and my girlfriend having these same arguments when we first moved in. Like, we would, we'd have these same, like, you know, before we got, got to a point now we understand each other a lot better, we would have fights like this, right? Where it's like, dog, I, listen, the dishes is not that deep. It's not, like, it's, it's not a fire. The, the house is not going to explode if it's not clean, getting clean, right? And to this day, she still cleans like that. Whereas, like, if she is dirty, she'll just pick it up. It's just me personally. I've always been the kind of motherfucker, like, I don't mind cleaning, but I'm not, like, put it this way. Cleaning up the house isn't the first thing I'm going to do after driving a truck for 12 hours, right? That shit can sit where it's at, whatever the case may be, right? I also remember my mom having, like, decorative tiles towels right I, I tell people this story a lot like my mom would have decorative towels she'd have decorative shit across the house right and as a guy being like shoot 18 19 probably 17 i don't remember i never understood it i was like dog if we can't use these fucking towels what the fuck are they here for she used to always be like don't touch my decorative towels 
what the fuck are they in the bathroom for if you can't use these motherfuckers? And it ain't like nobody coming over this bitch like that. So it's like, what the fuck? But the older I've gotten, the more I understand that women need decorative shit. Shoot. I'm, I, I think I'm overdue for a trip to Home Goods. Shoot. Maybe uh, it's been a minute. But, you know, my girlfriend every now and then will go buy stuff for the house. She'll decorate. She'll do shit. When you get older and you live with a woman for a while, you're going to understand that they need to do that. So, I mean, point goes to Jennifer Aniston on this one. Because <laughs> even the way she said it, she wasn't like, hey, you bitch-ass motherfucker, can you get off the game? She could have said that, but she didn't. She was like, hey, could you please wash the dishes? And he was like, bitch, fuck you. Kind of, sort of. Like, he kind of just blew off. So, I kind of get why she's angry about it. Like, all these points that she's upset about, they make sense. Hell, I remember when I had my first apartment, right? And I called myself taking one of my mama's pots just to boil noodles in, right? Because I just didn't feel like buying a pot. Again, I remember living by myself and I remember what my apartment looked like. I didn't hardly have anything in it. Like, I had a bed, I had a dresser, and I had a flat screen, I had an Xbox 360, right? I didn't have nothing in the front room. I didn't have no furniture, I didn't have no pictures. Because in my mind, I was like, why buy all this shit if I don't fucking need it, if I don't fucking care? about it all i need is a skillet and a pot the boil noodles in and i'm straight like and i think sometimes that's where we as dudes kind of get crossed up with women because we're most men are very minimal we don't if we don't need it we're not gonna buy it <laughs> like it's just like okay when they market to like around christmas time right for things that's supposed to get bought or whatever you know just for christmas marketing they market the women and children because most dudes don't really give a fuck about purchasing shit like Maybe a dude might buy a truck, you know, maybe a motherfucker might buy some wrenches, might buy a motherfucking some shit for the game, might buy a flat screen. But you don't really see dudes typically just purchasing shit just because. Now, it gets to a point in the video where Vince Vaughn throws the controller. And in that moment is when the shit starts to proverbially hit the fan, right? Because you got to understand something as a dude. The shit that women ask of you, you don't technically want to do it but you do it because you love your wife or your girlfriend right like cleaning the house for a guy unless you were just into that you know what i mean cleaning the house for a dude it's more of a chore like it, it i don't like okay i don't get enjoyment from cleaning a house i don't feel better when the house is clean most dudes wake up the same motherfucker every day so whether the house is dirty or whether it's not i still feel like the same nigga and again I think the part that makes it hard to really like clean as a dude sometimes or to give a fuck is because this shit is, it doesn't, a dirty house doesn't exactly register as a problem. Like it doesn't become a problem until the woman starts bitching at you about it. Right. And again, that's not to say her bitching is bitching, but it's like, like, okay, we can deal with this later. Kind of sort of like, I think from the, uh, I'm getting tongue tied today from the position of a dude, right? <laughs> Your train of thought is you want everybody to shut up and you want all things to stop. Like, when a man walks in his house or if he gets home from work, he don't want to hear nothing about nothing. Like, if it's not a fucking hole in the window, if you if you ain't lost two tires, if your friend ain't got stabbed six times, or if you're not bleeding out from the shoulder from a gunshot wound, nigga don't really give a fuck. And I think that's the thing that made him check out because it's like, from a guy perspective all that shit y'all get mad about it doesn't register as a problem and it's like you're sitting here listening to this motherfucker chew you out about something that in your mind is not that big a deal and it makes it hard for you to take action on it especially when you know you as a woman feel ways about a little bit of everything like like okay from the perspective of a guy like there's no off switch to none of this shit it's just I'm upset about this. I'm bothered by this. I'm bothered by that. But at the same time, on the other end of that spectrum, if we'd have just been like, I, like a lot of the problems need, that need to get solved can really just be simply solved by just getting up and doing it. Again, this is something I used to do. So low key, like I've just learned, like if, if it's something that really bothers us, to just get up and kind of just handle it, <laughs> right? Because if I just take five minutes to do it, it saves me thirty minutes of an argument that I gotta hear when I didn't do it because I didn't feel like it. So again, point goes to Jennifer Aniston. And I'm being honest with you about a lot of this shit. Like, man, listen, I've been Vince Vaughn before. I think most niggas have been Vince Vaughn. And you just, like, you really just want to chill and not do shit. But realistically speaking, you can't. <laughs> like, 
Because look, the, the thing you blow off today will be the argument you have tomorrow. Is I think you as a guy sometimes you spend most of your life trying to avoid arguments. Like, because it's like if this shit ain't life and death, why am I arguing about it? Like, but I think the hardest thing for a guy to do is to give a fuck. And I think the hardest thing for a woman to do is to not give a fuck, right? But when you've been living with a woman for a while, you learn these little nuances of things like, you know, it might be trash. This bothers me. It's like, okay, just get up and take it out. If it's like, I'm telling you, you, you're better off getting off your ass and handling it. <laughs> like, I'm telling this to you from a dude that's lived with his girlfriend for X amount of years. You're better off getting up and taking care of it. Like, um, but I mean, on the flip side of that argument, you can relax just a tad. <laughs> like, I still think she's right, but you can relax a pinch. Like, but then again, on um, well, I mean, I can't even really get mad at her because it's like my whole uh, my whole point for as her is she didn't say none of this shit fucked up. She asked him kindly, like so it's like just off the strength of that is like you almost don't have a leg of the argument to stand on. Now the next point in this argument, <laughs> she he throws the controller right. He's like, fine, I'll do the damn dishes, and she's like, that's not what I want. I want you to want to do the dishes. And he's like, why the fuck would I want to do dishes? That is a real honest man response. And I tell you from that point, he threw that controller. This shit starts rolling down the hill because it gets to a point. I'm telling you. Okay. I'll put it like this way. Where I'll give Vince Vaughn a point is one. You not finna keep bitching at me constantly. And what I mean by that is right. It gets to a point. <laughs> Because in a guy's head, you you are always trying to find some type of quiet. It gets to a point where you, it, this is such a slippery slope because on, it, it's really right on both ends. Because as a guy, right, you don't want to keep hearing about it. <laughs> you also don't have a passion for cleaning, but let me clean because that's what she wants. But she wants you to want to clean, and it's like. I don't know how you expect me to want to want to do housework. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, like, as a dude, you don't give a fuck. It's like, bro, it's not, I'm not worried about this shit like that. But where she's right at is like, dog, let me tell you something about housework, right? Housework, especially if you live with a woman for a minute, <laughs> like, a dirty house is one of those things. If you do not take care of it and stay on top of it, it will run wild. I've seen it happen. Me and my girlfriend have went and got drunk on a Saturday been hard hung over on Sunday and we've trashed the entire house just based on the fact that we were too tired to clean. Right. And we had to make it a point. Like, even though we laid around all day and been hung over to get up at seven o'clock and clean. It's a, listen, she's not wrong about none of this. Like this, this, the clean house thing, it will get away from you like a motherfucker and you will be living in a pigsty like a motherfucker in no time. So as much as I may not agree with the whole idea of cleaning a house is something that has to be done. Now, as far as wanting him to want to clean, I think this is where Vince takes the point because, look, I'm someone that likes wrestling. I'm someone that's a big fan of, like, hardcore rap music, right? I'm someone that's, you know, a big fan of lifting weights. Don't do shit with me that you know you can't, you don't like. Like, like okay, personally me, right? I have making people do things that i know they don't like even if i enjoy it because one if i'm watching wrestling right and you're watching wrestling with me if i know you don't enjoy it i'm gonna turn this shit off and watch it by myself that deflates the living shit out of me at least as a guy i don't i don't know how every other dude feels about it but i'm just saying me personally i don't like making people do shit that they don't enjoy like for instance i watch baddies east i'm not necessarily crazy about baddies east it's not my show but I watch a lot of women's, I can watch women's wrestling. So I connect to the characters. Like, okay, me, Natalie, Scotty, fucking Biggie, Roly, whoever the fuck. To me, those are all wrestling characters on a show where they're all fighting over this invisible championship called the Bad Bitch Championship. That's how I look at it, and that's how I'm able to sit in front of it and watch it. Now, if you ask me if I'm going to watch Baddies East by myself, fuck no. But at the same time, I know my girlfriend enjoys it when I watch it with her. But personally, me, I don't get enjoyment by making people do things they hate. Like, I just, I don't like it. 
it it it, it kills the vibe for me because I can see you visibly not liking it, right? So if I'd rather do it by myself and enjoy it than bring you along and try to make you like it when I know you can't stand it. And I also think this is more of a girl thing, right? Because most dudes, right? Now, when I say personally, that's a me thought. That's a me thought. Most dudes don't give a fuck if you like it or not. If the football game is on, if the NBA finals is on, and you just happen to be sitting there, then God damn it, your black ass just going to sit there and you're going to watch even if, if you can't stand it, right? Women, on the other hand, they will make you watch the shit out of girl shows. They will make you watch all these murder mysteries, these motherfucking docs, these nail tutorials, and they want you to enjoy it the same way they do. The shit that irritates me sometimes with women is that a lot of times that from y'all perspective, it's like your feelings are the only feelings that matter, even in any situation. She probably didn't consider that this motherfucker wanted to just sit down for a minute. Like, I don't even think that, you know, put it this way. It, again, this is one of those funny little gray areas, because if you let a nigga sit too long on the game, the dishes won't get done. Right. But if you don't let him sit on the game, then he's going to be a prick when you try to make him get off it. So, kind of a slippery slope here. Now, it gets to the point where the argument moves into the kitchen, right? And the first thing she says is, I'm upset because you don't have a strong desire to do dishes. Let me tell you something. <laughs> right? I think we're, another part where men and women get fucked up at is that women want men to be emotionally adept the same way they are. Meaning, like... You know, if he cared about me, he would know. <laughs> and I'm telling you, as a dude, when you're the one affecting your environment versus your environment affects you, unless something really happens around this motherfucker that's, like, worth my attention, I'm not going to give a shit. Like, like, okay, the things I know about the people and the things I know about women or just men and people in general, those are things I had to go out of my way to learn. I had to go to certain channels, follow certain people that knew certain shit. Most niggas is not going to do that. <laughs> like, so even when you're upset about something or you're thinking about something or something bothers you, and I'm talking about the way women are upset, right? Motherfucker be sitting right next to you, be upset about a whole issue, and you won't have no idea that she's mad about anything. And at the same time, she will expect you to have somewhat of an idea of what she's mad about, even though she hasn't said anything. And I think Vince Vaughn takes the point here because she could have sat down and told this motherfucker, like, listen, this bothers me. I'm upset about this. I don't like when this happens. All right. The thing that another thing that irritates me sometimes about women is that y'all don't give a man a hard target. And what I mean by a hard target, hey, this thing over here in this corner is becoming an issue for me. Can you please move it? Right. Instead of just walking around bowling mad, upset, frustrated because you haven't said anything. <laughs> men are not mind. Re like, I, I think women expect men to be psychic like like okay i'm supposed to see you mad i'm supposed to ask you why you're mad and then when i ask you why you're mad you say nothing no i'm fine don't worry about it i'm cool and at the same time y'all expect the motherfucker to communicate and it's like you don't even want to communicate back with me about the problem that you're having not only that but i'm not the one with the issue here you know what i mean just little stuff like that and nuances and stuff you pick up on when you live with a motherfucker like like okay for instance, I can say something, right? And this has happened a hundred times, right? We'll be watching TV. I'll say some old blunt man thought. My girlfriend will get caught. Right? And I know just based on her body language that she's angry, right? But she won't tell me that she's mad. She won't sit down and openly have a conversation about it. But I also know on the other side, again, this is why I like duality because there's two sides to everything. That sometimes a motherfucker needs to sit in silence and sort through their shit for a minute. Like, the biggest issue I see men doing and the biggest thing, wrong thing you can do in a situation like this is to actually try to fix it. Because men, we're problem solvers. It's a problem we fix it. Like, we try to be problem solvers and fix whatever the fuck is going on, right? The best thing you can do as a guy when you can't nail down whatever the problem is, is to remove your... Like, hey, if you want to talk, let's talk. But move out of the way and let a motherfucker be upset for a minute. Because the thing about women is you're never going to get a motherfucker to a point where they're just completely just satisfied. And that's the tough part about being a man. Because it's never a point where a motherfucker's just done doing woman shit. It never switches off. Right? And you're going to see it in a minute. He's going to snap like a motherfucker. 
Because I'm telling you, as a dude, when you are around a woman for a long period of time, I don't give a fuck how strong you are, how tough you are. If water hits a mountain long enough, it's going to erode it, right? You are only going to be able to take so much shit off this motherfucker before you chew her the fuck out. Now, it gets to another point in the argument, right? <laughs> Where, you know, she's like, you know, I'll, I asked you to one do one thing is bring me 12 lemons. And I think as he brought her three. Now, the only thing I can think of where he fucked up at is that he does the typical guy shit is that he got caught up in doing shit he was doing and probably just forgot. <laughs> like, and I'm telling you, as a dude, again, uh, like, okay. Running, driving the car on bad oil is not necessarily going to destroy your car, right? You know what I mean? Driving a car on a on a rim will fuck up your rim to your car and fuck up your whole axle. Getting 12 limits probably didn't register this motherfucker as that big a deal. And I think sometimes as a guy, that's a lot of our problems is that we don't see shit as deep as they do. Does that make sense? Like, I've done the same shit before, gotten off work and just forgot to get her something that she asked me to get. Now, she's never been the type to explode about it. But I'm saying, like, as a dude, when you live with a woman long enough, you know to just... It, it's better to just... Uh, it's the weirdest, most aggravating shit because women have a list of things they need done a mile long. And I'm not saying that, you know, that's this instance. But as a guy, it never stops. So you just get to a point where you start checking out sometimes. You know what I mean? Because we don't put this much emotional work on ourselves. Like, dealing with a woman is dealing with emotions. And emotions change from minute to minute to minute to minute to minute. Like, you as a guy, you may have three things you feel ways about, right? Her, she has 24. So imagine being with a motherfucker that has all this shit going on up here. You also have no idea about it. Not only that, but you don't think it's that big a deal. So you're not necessarily trying to solve it. He probably just forgot about it. Like, in typical dude fashion, he probably was not thinking about it, right? Just slipped his mind. But sadly, just forgetting something like lemons can make a motherfucking chick feel like, it's, you know, you don't care about me. I'm not important to you anymore. And it's like, God damn it. Like, I'm telling you... <laughs> The, I, okay, where I side with him at is that Jennifer Anderson probably doesn't feel like she's a problem. And technically speaking, she's not really wilding out that much. But at the same time, from the perspective of a dude, if you got to constantly just hear shit all the time, like, okay, picture dealing with a woman, like, putting out mini fires. The, like, okay, like, like trash bag fires. Like, you can stomp out a fire, but it's like, is it worth your time to stomp the motherfucker out? Like, do I got to care about this shit? Is it that big a deal? You know what I mean? But, I mean, you'll find yourself... Okay, it's like this, right? A woman has a thing, a list of 20 things long that she needs taken care of, right? Probably about seven of those are important. <laughs> like, or things that she can or can't sort out herself, right? What I'm saying is a man has the bandwidth for about four of those things. You go the extra mile to do seven and then the motherfucker hit you with 13 more i hope you can follow my math but i'm just saying like a dude only got so much space emotional space for that because the way we think we don't just bombard our day with shit to do unless there's actually shit to do like if my job was broken down into little pieces and things i had to do or little sections and shit i'd probably quit this motherfucker because there's too much brain it's too much thinking to it right Unless this shit is life and death, I don't care to work out the angles of it all the time. Now, another point in the argument that she made, right? It'd be nice if it did things without me having to ask you, right? I kind of feel her on this one because when you... You have to apply it to the shit you want to understand it. <laughs> like, let me put it to you this way, right? She's like, oh, it'd be nice if you did things without me asking. I remember flowers being an issue in my house for a while. It ain't so much now, but I remember my girlfriend specifically saying, I will never, like, I think I forgot flowers one time. She's like, I will never ask you to buy me flowers again. And it's not that I don't care, but it's like, when a nigga run around this truck all day, or just, you know, or let's just say you as a guy, you're having a week. Like, you know, sometimes JB Hunt gives me like a week while I'm getting off at six every day, right? Sometimes that type of, the, the flower thing, it slips your mind. Like, not only that, but flowers, again, are not life and death. So it sometimes doesn't register. Now, where she takes the point for me at is, 
You take that same logic that she has and you apply it to a blowjob. <laughs> Listen, you can ask your wife for some head, <laughs> but do you really want to? <laughs> it may sound silly out of context, but I mean, when you apply it to the shit you want out of a motherfucker, you want your girl to be like, listen, I just, just come here and listen, listen, like just like you want her to just do it without saying anything, right? <laughs> so when she's getting mad about, you know, I would like it if you did nice things for me without me having to ask. It just it doesn't register to a dude until you apply it to the shit you want. So I mean I think she takes the point here because that's a very real thing. You want a motherfucker sometimes to just predict your needs. Listen, there's not a day that goes by that I don't eat. Like, even when I tell her, like, look, hey, don't, you don't got to cook. She still cook. Like, there's not a day go. I've, I've not missed a meal in the past two, three, four years. Barely. Probably maybe f 10 times out of four years where she just didn't make something. You know what I mean? You know, and I think, I think that it's worth it to try to, like, you know, catch on, to, like, to at least make the effort. Like, you know, I can see her argument here was, like, you know, you would want to do to at least reach out and attempt to try versus like a motherfucker that's just like, you know, fuck this shit all together. So I feel her on that one. That's a very real thing. And I'm telling you, if you don't get enough of that, sometimes it will, it will agitate the shit out of you. Now, again, <laughs> she's like, you know, you could have thought to yourself, I think I'm going to get Brooke some flowers. I think this point. It goes to both. It goes to both. Because these are very real things on both sides, right? One, her. I thought you, you know, you thought you could have thought to get me flowers. Listen. Even though I said all that stuff earlier, <laughs> I'm telling you, if you the way men work, you have to give a nigga a hard target. You gotta really be like, listen, this is what I want verbatim. It's got and I mean you gotta like okay, you know how a sign is on a door of a bathroom that says as men and women, the sign has to be that big. I'm telling you, like, you would think a guy would get it after you saying it one time, but I'm telling you, I promise you to a man, it does not register. And I'm not saying that we're stupid, but it's just like, you know, it's flowers, dog. Like, like, okay, you look at a flower on the ground, you might look at it like, all right, whatever. You don't, what I'm saying is, it, it's, it's not like a thing that we think about. So if you don't make it important or say it like, like okay, you almost have to say it from a megaphone, but on some type of shit where it's like, hey, this this really bothers me. Can you please take care of it, please? And you have to keep reaffirming. Like, And I think that's the thing women sometimes don't like about men is that you oftentimes have to repeat yourself on the things you want. But you have to understand something about being a guy. Like, your life is not predicated. Like, okay, my existence on, on being, my existence as a man is not based around how happy I can make my girlfriend. Like, okay, if you made your woman happy, she would make you happy equally in return, and it don't work that way, right? A motherfucker make you happy when they choose if that's something that they want to do. A motherfucker do things for you because that's what they want to do, right? Because if that's the case, these motherfuckers buying girls flowers on dates, these motherfuckers taking these girls to these nice restaurants, they would be the ones getting laid, but that's not the case. Girls dog their ass out and play them all the time. So you saying that you want something because that's what you want, doesn't necessarily register to us because it's not necessarily one of those things that we need to live that, just to make you happy. Like, like okay, it's like you being happy, sad, upset, whatever, feeling whatever way, crying, upset. That's just you being emotional. And you're emotional 50% of the time. So it's like, why sit there and put any type of brain power into that when you really can't? Picture dealing with the fire that you really can only kind of put out. You're not going to put too much energy into it because there's not really nothing you could do about it. You could try, but I mean, you don't really have no control over it. So why worry about it? Does that make sense? Now, <laughs> Gary says at some, a certain point during the argument, you know, on our very first date, you don't like flowers. And then she goes, every girl likes flowers, Gary. Now, listen, Vince gets this point like a motherfucker because this happens to niggas all the time. Y'all say one thing and mean another. Like, again, the thing, the problem with women and men communicating is that one, one side says one thing. Like, okay, if two women were to talk to each other, right, they would both know each other, what, what each other girl meant because y'all both speak the same language, right? Men don't speak womanese, meaning like, you're not going to be like, hey, I don't like, you know, 
you know, I don't I don't like candles on my birthday cake. And then think you gone. And then when he actually doesn't get you candles, now you're pissed off that he didn't get you candles. But you said that you didn't want candles. It's like, motherfucker, if you don't say what you mean and mean what you say, don't say some shit and then change your mind on it like 10 minutes later because now you feel different. You're the equivalent of a girl that says, I don't want anything for Valentine's Day. And then when a motherfucker really don't get you shit, you're now pissed off because every other girl has something on Valentine's Day except your punk ass. You know what I mean? Because you keep speaking in riddles. If you say something, you better remember what you said and stand on everything. Men live in a very black and white kind of world, right? Women live in the gray area. Meaning like, yeah, I could say this, but I can really mean this. That's like when you... That's how a lot of these false accusations happen when a motherfucker say they want one thing and then they actually mean something else. <laughs> like, or, you know, when I said no, I really meant yes. But when I said yes, I really meant no. And you just didn't know any better. And it's like, what dude is supposed to follow all of that? And again, as a man that lives with that on a day-to-day basis, not speaking about me, I'm saying like when you are a guy dealing with a motherfucker that says one thing means another feels this way about something it changes the next 10 minutes that's too much shit to keep up with (laughs) it's like okay if you say that's like when girls say oh i don't fuck on the first date (laughs) right when in reality most girls do you just don't fuck me on the first date you're just gonna say that to me to make it's a whole thing but that has happened to me before and that's happened to every man before and i think that's a lot of reason why women struggle to get the shit they want for men because y'all, y'all feelings on things y'all want change from minute to minute to minute. You know what I mean? Y'all don't never plant your feet in a certain place and stand in what you said and then make that like the thing that you... Like, okay, I know what my girlfriend's consistent with. If Like, if we get into one of these arguments about the animals, I know that's a li- that's less life and death territory because we've been here several times before. You know what I mean? The problem a lot of times with girls is that y'all are not consistent with anything. So nothing actually makes sense after a while. So, I mean, it's just one of those things that's stressful to deal with it from the perspective of a guy knowing that your girl changes her mind every 10 minutes. Like, it's like, dog, pick a fucking side. Now, another point I want to bring up about this whole, like, argument is, right, she's talking about we don't never go nowhere together. That's another big one. <laughs> Going places, right? Now, I would, if you ask me, right, my, my life is divided into two halves. <laughs> One half is the business half. That's me going to the gym. That's me getting up early to work. That's me handling business. That's me doing things for myself that progress me as a man for the future. That's the shit that I handle. That's me. Ten, that's the 10 year plan. That's what I want to do with myself. That's me working my way up the truck. And then there's the fun half of my life. And that's where she comes in. She's the big... She's the anchor to the fun half of my life. Meaning like the fun shit I like to do a lot of times is based around what she may want. Because personally me, it's a lot of shit I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> like, so, but she does give a fuck about it. So it's like we, oh, let's go to this restaurant. Let's try this um yogurt. Let's go see this movie. Let's go do this thing. And, you know, I think sometimes women need that balance in life. Like it's almost like the relationship to some degree has to be going somewhere. We have to be going going somewhere we have to be doing something because to a guy sitting in front of a tv playing an xbox all day that is doing something like i'm in the house playing xbox not being bothered women don't think like that it's rare that you meet a woman that's a gamer that just wants to game all day that's not a real thing like you know what i mean so women have to be taken out they have to go places. they have to do stuff and i mean look i think this point goes to jennifer anderson on this one because it's like you know you got to plan a date. You got to sit aside time. Like the thing about being in a relationship is that it's not always about, you know, you doing the man shit in, you know, the progress in the future or you doing the business or I only want to do this because this is what I want to do. There's two halves of it. And a lot of that half, a lot of halves of that relationship is entertaining the shit that you sometimes can't stand. Cause I'm not crazy about baddies. East. I'm really not like, I don't care about a lot of these white girl movies. I'm really not, but I give a fuck about her. And that's to me, the shit that matters. And once you make that matter, a motherfucker can feel like they matter so they don't get mad at you about the shit that they feel like they're not being cared about. Now, we get to a point 
where it comes toward the end of the clip, right? Where he's like, he feels like he's being nagged. He feels like his work isn't appreciated enough. <laughs> and let me tell you, that will make a nigga leave your ass like a motherfucker. When you are working like a motherfucker to build a future, some security, because you got to understand something. Women care about security from the space of like, you know, the bills being paid. Men care about, sec about security from the space of making enough money to pay it. Like, you ever seen a dude when he didn't have a job? That is... That is probably the worst version of a man when he's not able to make no money or handle the shit he even handles. Because as a guy, you're often dependent on. Like, okay, yeah, women make money too, but y'all are not the ones motherfuckers come to to solve problems like that. Like, maybe what your kids do, but just in general with people, you motherfuckers are probably going to go to your husband. Like, I mean, that's just part of the existence of like being a man. And look, he's gotten to the point in the clip where he is going to start chewing her the fuck out and telling her what he really think. And I think every dude eventually gets to this point. Because you got to understand something. Dealing with a woman is a job and a responsibility. Maybe not so much on a woman's end, but dealing with a woman as a man is a responsibility. This is the reason why y'all have such trouble keeping boyfriends. Like, because you got to think, when you get a girlfriend, right? Yeah, you get the anytime sex, but you also get all the problems and shit she's upset about that comes with it. And every dude ain't prepared for that. Like, that is a lot of mental work. That's not easy. That's stress. That's, that's you having to sort out a problem that, like, okay, being a man to a girl, <laughs> well, not being a man to a girl, being in a relationship with a woman is like sometimes solving a problem that there is no answer to. A motherfucker could just be upset because I feel fat today. And I can't make you feel any less fat. I can only tell you that you're not fat. You know what I mean? It's, it's just one of those things like, if, like, okay, you're solving some shit that's going on up here with her. Like, it's a lot of that. And mo if more men knew their position in all this, it wouldn't be as much anger directed toward the woman when a woman starts being a woman. Because, I mean, you got to think about it like this. God's sitting them down here a certain way. If God didn't want women to be emotional, he wouldn't have made them emotional. And we're at the end of it, right? Where the breakup, where the breakup happens is when he starts being honest with her about what he said. Meaning like, look, a dude being honest is a very slippery slope. It's a very slippery slope. And I'm telling you, I used to catch hell with it in the beginning. But I'm not someone that likes to lie. <laughs> like, if I'm a guy that wants more than one woman, I'm going to say it. If I'm a guy that wants like, you know, cheese on his bread i'm gonna say it if i'm a guy that needs like so much gas in his tank or i want to play xbox every day or you know i don't feel like arguing i'm gonna say it and the thing i think women get crossed up about is that y'all think men mean other shit when they say exactly what they think not only that when a motherfucker tell you that like, get to a point where he's frustrated and he starts being real with your ass that sometimes is too much of a shock for y'all <laughs> like and that's probably what made her break up with this motherfucker. Because I don't think Vince Vaughn wild out that much. He didn't really call her like no bitch or throw nothing at her. He just got to a point where he got sick of this shit. And he told that motherfucker like, look, dog, fuck this. Like, and as a dude, you get to those points. Like, I don't give a fuck how strong of a man you are. A woman will bring you there after a while. Because it's like, if a motherfucker is just on your back every day about every single little problem, every little something. Like, cause, like okay. Because she, from the whole time, has been talking to him from her perspective, which is, oh, this, 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 and this bothers me, right? All dandy and cool, but it gets to a point after a while where it's like, a nigga ain't trying to hear all that. Like, and he pretty much shoot her the fuck out. But I'm at the end of this whole thing. If you really want to know what I think, I think if you had to ask me who I thought won, I think it's her. <laughs> like, I really do think it's her. Like, even though, like, knowing what I know now, I think it's her. Because I don't think anything she was asking for was that crazy. I just think what happened was, is that he was not prepared for what she was asking for. And I think that happens to a lot of people in a lot of relationships. The man comes in thinking it's going to be smooth sailing because I'm happy and I'm hanging out with my girlfriend. Because you think the honeymoon phase is forever. In, in real life, when it comes to a relationship with a woman or just a relationship with a man, that's something you have to work at every single day. Like being with that person and making choices to stay with them, despite if you're attracted to other people or despite if you want to live a certain life, that's a choice you have to make every single day. And everybody can't make that choice daily. Like, love really is a choice. Like, you feel love for a motherfucker. You know what I mean? 
you love a motherfucker and you care about him, but I mean, you have to really choose to be with that person every day. You have to really choose. Like, you have to wake up every day and be like, I pick you because how I feel about everybody else. You know what I mean? But, you know, this is a long video. This took a lot out of me to make. But, I mean, it was something that I felt very compelled to do. And I like when things pull me in. You know what I mean? I don't always like to talk about, oh, 304 gets humbled by a guy in the street. Like, who gives a fuck? But, anyway, right? I'm going to eat my breakfast. Try to catch me a quick nap before I have to go on to work, man. 